Here we go, the opening round this contest between Ben Crocker in the white shorts and Jordan Branham in the predominantly black shorts. The commentator is myself, Kieran Gibbons, and Denzel Bentley. A lot of fans here tonight from Swansea to support Ben Crocker. Making a lot of noise for right hand side. Very well schooled boxer, Ben Crocker. Yeah, I can see that straight away from the way he shapes up. He's got a nice sharp jab on him as well. But it would be nice to see him to, you know, follow through with that jab all the way through the fight. And a lot of fights tonight have started off with a nice sharp jab. And then they've, you know, come away from that and just started to try and throw big shots and stuff as the rounds go on. But you've got to set up everything from the jab. Nice left hook to the head and body from Crocker and Granham replied with a left hook of his own. I mean, Granham, a very experienced fighter. You know, he's had over, over 120 fights. It's crazy to me, but um, yeah, Crocker just taking his time. He, you know, shouldn't fall for Granham's tricks. Because Granham's very experienced, you know, he, he can make you feel like you're, 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 you know, doing enough and he'll just turn it up. So, Crocker's just got to stay concentrated, stay focused and keep, you know, everything off that jab. Yeah, very patient start the fight from Crocker. As you said, not falling for the more experienced fighters, tricks or traps. I think uh, John Granham has had... For tonight, 585 rounds. Wow. <laughs> Little rounds. Nice jab to the midsection from Granham. Ben Crocker has got fast hands. He's content just to hold the middle of the ring here in this opening round. Yep. Oh, nice left hook to the head and body. Nice opening round for Ben Crocker. Yep. So into the second round, Ben Crocker looked very composed in the opening round, working behind the jab. Granham, as you can see, he's a slippery custom moves his head well to avoid the shots. Granham also has a good jab on him as well. So Crocker's just got to be careful when he throws these shots, he's got to watch what's coming back. Granham's probably one of these guys, very difficult to get your punches through his guard. Yeah, most definitely. Nice jab to the midsection from Crocker. Good jab from Crocker. Ben Crocker trained by Gary Lockett from South Wales. Of course, Lockett fought for the world midway title, I think it was in 2008. There we see Jordan Granham's jab to the midsection.
I, 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 I like Crocker's composure. I mean, he's, you know, he looks very focused. He's, he's not backing up into the ropes, holding the middle of the ring, and, and, and he's, he's throwing his either hand roll, hooks to the body, hooks to the head. And he's got a nice strong jab. But what I'd like to see, I'd like to see Grandin put a little bit of pressure on him just to see how Crocker reacts. You know, it's just all good having it in your own way and, you know, throwing all the shots, you can, you know, in your arsenal. But when your opponent puts that little bit of pressure on you, that's when you kind of realise what you kind of can't do. And, and I think that progresses you as a fighter going into your next fights and stuff. As you mentioned earlier, Granham's got a good jab when he throws it. Not really thrown in enough to be competitive in the fight yet, I wouldn't say. Good jab from Crocker, good jab. And a good backhand. Another good round for Ben Crocker. Yeah, definitely. Seasons, round three. So, third round of this contest. Ben Crocker in control. Is there anything more you should be doing here, do you think, Ben uh, Denzel? Yeah, no, I think he's doing everything right. I think he's, he's in control. He's holding the center of the ring, like I said earlier. He's getting off his jab well. I think the only thing I want to see is from Granham's side just to put a little bit of pressure on him to see how he reacts. Other than that, he'll do what he needs to do. He's not rushing, he's not looking for a stoppage. He's just boxing, and he's, and he's boxing clean. Yeah, Jordan Granham at the moment, he has been a little bit negative. You could say he's, he's not really letting his hands go that often, apart from the occasional jab. It's tough, it's, uh, tough to look good against these journeymen. I mean, and they don't get much more experienced than... Uh, Granham. Yeah, exactly. He's got a record. Eight victories, 116 defeats and four draws. And, and he's only been stopped twice in all those fights. That's pretty impressive. I mean, that says it all. That says it all, exactly. I mean, you didn't stop him as well, did you? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I didn't get an opportunity to fight Jordan <laughs> Granham. <laughs> Fighters exchange jobs. Crocker boxed out of Premier Boxing Club in Swansea. A really good gym, produced lots of champions over the years. Oh, nice body shots from Crocker. Yeah. Referee Sean McAvoy will be the scoring judge as well if this contest goes the distance. One thing I would say about Crocker, his elbows come quite high when, he, when, he's, when he's got his guard up. I think, you know, I think a more you know, acute fighter would, would, would find them shots to the body as they're getting closer. Yeah, he has uh, gone to the body a few times, uh, Granham, but it tends yeah. to be just, just straight shots. Yeah, just straight shots, yeah, yeah. But, you know, that's just me picking out faults him because there isn't really much he's doing wrong. But yeah, yeah no, I, I like the way he's boxing, but that, that's the only thing I can really see. I'm sure right there, he's yeah. got his arms come up and his elbows go up too and that leaves his whole body open. I'm sure his trainer Gary Lockwood will be pointing those things out to him. Yeah, most definitely, as, as his career goes on. Second round four. So into the fourth, uh, Ben Crocker in, in command, probably won every single round, every single minute of the fight so far. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Boxing very patiently behind his jab, throwing the occasional right hand in as well, and the uh, hooks to the body. A really good performance. Some great advice from coming from Crocker's fans in the stands as well. Punch his head in. <laughs> Can't get better fast than that. <laughs>
Oh, good left foot there from Grandham. Just as Crocker was trying to throw that left foot to the body. Yeah, he took the shot well. Yeah, he did. Jordan Grandham's trainers to a right, they're encouraging their fighter to be a bit more active. I mean, Granham's one of these fighters you just wonder if, if he was a ticket seller I and mean, how his career would have gone. Yeah, differently exactly. to obviously he's gone down the journeyman route. Which is the route a lot of fighters take just because they can't sell tickets. He, he seems to have nice fast hands when he lets his hands go and his, yeah. he's got a good jab but doesn't really throw it much. Nice defensive skills from Crocker there and just moved out of range when the jab was coming towards him. Yeah. Just stepped back, just half a step with, with his feet and, and made Granham fall short. He only works on the front foot, Jordan, was the, what Granham's corner member shouting. Yeah. I think they also want to see Granham put a little bit of pressure on him and see what, what he fights that guy in backwards. It's probably good advice. But uh, Granham seems content just to keep working in this uh, at this pace. Yep. Last 10 seconds of the round. Ben Crocker has won every round of this contest so far. Yep. I mean, the pace of the fight hasn't really changed, but it's good to see Crocker still using his jab but not, you know, trying to rush and stuff, looking for a stoppage. He's just he's still patient. If you're not doing nothing, I won't do much neither. I'm just going to keep throwing my shots I mean, when it, I need to. I mean, it is tricky for, I mean, Crocker in this position because he wants to be exciting and wants to put on a good show for his fans but he doesn't want to get careless at the yeah, same of course. time yeah, of and he's course. got people I guess sitting near ringside perhaps being a little bit critical maybe <laughs> yeah 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 that's true Crocker just moved his head there slipping the shots nice defensive skills Yeah, good defence from Crocker and a good jab you can tell that he's a, a really well schooled fighter I know he, yeah, he won definitely. a number of titles as an amateur having his ninth contest this evening Crocker Got two stoppages on his record but most of his fights have been against these tough journeyman types that the don't really get stopped very often. Yeah, I think I think as the level of his, his opposition steps up, we will see more from him. We'll, we'll be able to see a better version of him. Right now, you can just tell he's boxing to the level of his opponents. He doesn't he doesn't look bad, but he's just you know he's controlling the pace and he's taking his time. He's doing what he wants to do. Crocker just pouring him with his jab, forcing Jordan Granham back.
keep edging forward is the advice from Jordan Granham's trainers to our right Touch of gloves between the fighters for the final round. It's been a good performance by Ben Crocker from Swansea in South Wales. Yep, it has indeed. I have a feeling Granham's going to come out this round and maybe put a little bit of pressure on him. Or maybe not. There's a right hand from Granham. We haven't really seen that being thrown at all night really from him. Nice right hand from nice Fraka. Looping shot. Yeah, he's definitely been more aggressive in this round, I think, uh, Jordan. Yeah. Granham. Oh, good right hand there from Crocker. Nice jab to the midsection from Ben Crocker. Gives a little nod to Granham. Jordan Granham just smiled at uh, Ben Crocker there, I think. Crocker was about to launch his, his right hand, but uh, Granham just read, read the shot and read to see what was happening. Really good performance by Crocker, I think, but uh, let's give some credit as well to Jordan Granham, what a tough man he is. Yeah. Yeah, Crocker's just won every round, just everything off the jab and using his feet. Also, as the, as the defense, every time Granham comes in, he just takes half a step back, makes makes Granham, makes Granham, Jordan Granham fall short. Good movement. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm impressed with Crocker. He, he didn't really need to do more than more than he's doing. He, he's done everything right. And it is sometimes difficult to look spectacular against journeyman who were essentially there. To, uh, to pick up a paycheck and g give the prospect a workout. Yeah, most definitely. But he's he's shown he's shown his performance the levels. So yeah, that's a good performance either way. Good luck.